Hi, how this is how you can create a tile effect in uh, SharePoint. So I'm just using your page here, Time, which is Year 7 Drama. I'll delete my edits after. If you click on Edit, ideally you need to select page layer and one column. You've got your set out with multiple columns here. That's okay. I can work with that to start off with because I'm going to delete what I do. So under here, I'm going to go to Insert and I insert a picture. Now I can create this banner for you. Uh, I'm just going to insert a year three or a year five one from my desktop. Uh, I like to have the banner because it's consistent across everything. So let's just go year five. Now I can have the year banner which would say SAC learning space whatever year you'd like. You go in here and you type in 100% uh, Okay, so that's the first part. Now, if you can picture this part not being here. Okay, the next part you're going to do is going to edit. And select a ribbon for your topic or whatever. So insert, table, one cell. And we might call it um, drama topics for the particular year level. Okay, so highlight, change to 18, um, go into design, add a header, and you want purple. Okay, oops. Sorry, drama, get it right. go over here enter and I want to insert a table to have my um, images so insert table let's go by five and select save okay so if you can picture this here as a banner at the top and you got your drama topics then you need to create your tile, so to speak. Well, they're actually tiles, they're actually still JPEG images. And I use a program called Canvas, okay? And I also use pixabay.com, which is royalty-free images. So one of your ones uh, topics was review writing. I'm going to pick an image. Pixabay.com is royalty-free, which means you can download and use them without breaching any copyright. So we'll download an image. And then I'm gonna copy it. And go to my desktop, hard drama. And I'll put it into there. Okay, so you've downloaded an image. It's royalty free from pixabay.com. Amazing site for lots of different images. Then you go to Canva and you select, you have to create a free Canva account. Okay, then what I do here, you can see my previous work here. So I'm going to upload a image. And I was from a desktop called Drama. Here we go. And whatever images you upload to Canva, it, it keeps them so you can use them. So these are all the royalty free images you can see that I've used to create mine and other teachers' um, SharePoint pages. You drag it across. And you'll need to resize it. Obviously, it's not the best image, but you can create your own. Okay, and we are going to call this. Sorry, I have to go back. Um, review writing. And I change the text to drama or whatever you like. I do review.
Review writing. Uh, select download. Click download. I'm going to save it to my desktop and drama. Oh, that tile. Doesn't matter. Then you go back to your home page. You go up to edit. Insert. So now it's a picture from your computer. Browse. It didn't save, so let's find out why it didn't save. Still down here. Okay, try again. Uh, picture sorry insert picture from computer there it is and because you've got five across so we save it to 300 and you go zero 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 and select format and you want it centered and select save and then basically you can link your tile to anything you've got um, if you don't have a page called review writing you go on to page view all pages Add a new. Let's call it a drama. Preview. Writing. Save. You just copy the URL. Go back to your home page. Let edit, click on the icon which you'd like to link it to, you'd like to insert a link from an address, and control V or paste, save. So now when you click on the image, you go to your drama review. If we go back Another trick I do as well is take away these tile the the borders. So you click on your table, design, style, clear, and save. And that's a way how you can create different tiles. You end up with five tiles across here with different links um, to different documents and pages that you'd like.